Anger and sadness tonight after police shot and killed a dog in Ogden, and there are several sides to this story. Good for Utah's Aldo Vasquez joins us now live in studio with more. Aldo. Right. Today the family is grieving the loss of their dog, who they say would never hurt anyone, and say police did not deserve to shoot him. The cops were there, and Pai also came out of the house, and he doesn't bite, bark or anything, so he just ran up to them like happily, and all I seen was the cop punched him and he fell on his back and then he got up because why wouldn't he? And I heard a shot and then I seen the taser and then I heard like two more shots. Hope Martinez and her family were having a barbecue yesterday evening when an altercation occurred. There were three officers that responded to that location. Um, upon completing their investigation, the officers were leaving the area or had left that address when somehow a dog uh, was able to exit the residence. Police say the red-nosed pit bull, named Bayaso, lunged at one of the officers, pinning him against a telephone pole. Which time, one of the second officer engaged the, the dog with lethal uh, gunfire. Police say they then tasered the dog and shot at him again before the dog ran away. The family of Bayaso, which means clown in Spanish, say that he was not a vicious dog. He was lovable. He always jumped on us. He would let all the kids ride on him. We would, like... He was so playful. Anthony Martinez says his dog always loved to play. He didn't bark at him. He didn't growl at him. He was just a happy dog, and he does that with everybody. My whole family, my niece, nephews, kids, everybody. He does that with everyone, and the officer thought he was being attacked, but he really wasn't. The dog was taken by animal control and evaluated by a veterinarian before it was decided he had to be put down. He really broke my heart. I've had him for three years. And he's my first pit, my first dog, my best friend, and they took that from me. And nobody will ever replace that. Such a heartbreaking story. Now, Ogden police say that just like any officer involved shooting, the events that led up to the shooting will be fully investigated. In studio, Aldo Vasquez, good for Utah. Thank you.